Hey guys, some more news today. This is a big day for news, apparently. I don't know what the heck's going on for a Monday, but I suppose it's Monday. So there's going to be some news. Yep, they're, they're catching up from the Turkey Day weekend. I guess. Yeah, that's a big weekend, actually. Yep. So that makes kind of a little sense. But uh, one of the news items is uh, some Connect 2 rumors. Maybe maybe not even, not even rumors. Maybe they're actual facts, do we? But they're talking about the predecessor... Predecessor? Successor. No, successor. I know my words right. I am good with English. <laughs> the successor to the Connect, you know, tentatively titled Connect 2 or whatever they're going to name it. Connect uh, 720. Connect S- Connect 720. That's connect 480. Going right out there with the whole 360 boosting up those numbers, huh, Dewey? Yep. Really? How original. Anyways, <laughs> uh, talking about pure performance with the Connect 2, the big thing they're saying is that it can read lips. Um, I don't know how many games are going to use a feature like that, but that mm-hmm. is just saying that that is how powerful this uh, hardware upgrade is going to be for the Connect 2. It's going to be able to notice what direction you're standing. I know if you use the Connect now, it can kind of notice you when you're but tilting it's, it's to one side glitchy. or another. But yeah, it's really messed up, and you know, like you said, it's glitchy. Uh, so this is going to be a lot more capable. A lot of the Connect problems now is that. They downgraded the hardware before they released it, and that was mainly a problem um, with the current connect or with the with the with the current with, with the current 360 and the USB transfer rates and all of that stuff. Plus, I think they wanted to lower the price so that mm-hmm. they could make a little more money off of it. Uh, <laughs> probably had something to do with it, uh, but now with the Connect 2, they're talking about integrating it directly into the next Xbox. Uh, and they're actually talking about <laughs> they're already talking about the next Xbox in further detail with, with this announcement of Connect 2 or not announcement mm-hmm. but you know th- they're talking about it and they're saying that there's going to be two basic models for the next Xbox one that is just a casual Connect core Xbox kind of like mm-hmm. the Xbox Arcade that first came out when they released Xbox and mm-hmm. just here you go here's an Xbox and a memory card have fun there's no hard drive you're not paying for anything extra it's just the box. You're going to get what you pay for. Uh, but then they're also going to be having the Xbox, the next Xbox, where it's going to be the Connect Plus, you know, whatever else is going to come crammed into that thing with all the hardcore gamers like you and I, do we? Exactly. We're going we're gonna to buy that thing day one. <laughs> we're going to be standing outside in the line in for the eight hours. Six people line. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, it's, I'm betting more than six people are going to be standing outside for the next Xbox. Well, for the new next Xbox, maybe not the next Connect. We'll see. see. But I'm th- I'm assuming that the next Xbox we'll and the be. next Connect are going to be, you know, firmly si- integrated with each other. Mm-hmm. So they're not going to be a staggered release of them. It's going to be one package ready to go at the beginning of the console's release. It's it's something that I'm hesitant to be excited about because I was some I was someone who was very excited for the Connect when it came out. I really uh, you know think that this technology has a lot of room to grow and a lot of places to you know have its its area you know its stranglehold on the gaming market. I mean, it does have that uh, vibe of the whole casual uh, gaming market right now. It's kind mm-hmm. of trying to take that thunder from the Wii or trying to ride that momentum that the Wii has built. Um, and right now, as, a, as hardcore gamers are more concerned, of they ignore the Connect largely. Uh, some of them even bash the Connect, mm-hmm. and I mean, they're not completely at fault there yep. when they do that. Um, it's just there's no killer app for the Connect. There's no game that makes you go, "Oh my God, I have to buy a Connect now uh-huh. because there's that game and I need to play it." I mean, a big part of that's the motion control mm-hmm. and just the finesse that it lacks, you know, the detail uh, when you're trying to play a game, uh, Halo or Call of Duty or Gears of War, those are all shooters and they require a certain level of precision. The current model of Connect can't do the precision, but if this Connect, if the Connect 2, if you will, can handle that kind of precision along with some of whatever new features they're going to put into the next Xbox, mm-hmm. then this could be, uh, it could probably be the Connect Microsoft has been trying to promote since they first started talking now, about it. Now, if I can throw out my own prediction, it's the next Connect, so the one that is going to be paired with the next uh, Xbox, yes. isn't going to be the one that's really going to change anything. It's going to be the one after that because that's going to be the one that 
uh, the community, the development community, really has kind of had a while to get a hold of, and and then they can kind of see, oh, this is where we want to go with this. So that that's my that's my prediction. And if you guys have predictions of how this will uh, do and what you guys expect this to do, or if you're excited or not, leave that in the comment section below so we can see what you guys have to think of that. Remember to like and subscribe to that. this to this video and to our channel and add it to your favorites if you would be so kind. Uh, but with that, that's, that's pretty much all we have to say on this. So uh, thank you guys, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.